This is our 84th year. I would like to extend a very special thank you to the following sponsors. First Federal, Peninsula Floors and Furnishings, and Mount Townsend Creamery for being our official sponsors for this evening. Holly's Fine Flowers and Petals for being our official florist tonight. Manusa Castle for donating their banquet room for our monthly board meetings, weekly candidate meetings, and for our candidate interviews. Eden Saw Wood and How About Building Supplies for donating building supplies for our stage decorations tonight. Lisa's Jewelry for this evening's special award. She's been our official jewelry sponsor for 33 years. take us in a different direction as we welcome a new royalty and with that we will have the opportunity to share with them an entire year as we enjoy the greatest roadie Principal of the Chimichum High School, Mr. Brian McKenzie. So with that, I turn over the master's hat to him, and we will enjoy the show. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the 2019 Road to Denver Festival Royalty Coronation. Now my primary qualification for MC, aside from my availability, is that as a principal I am experienced in buzzkill announcements, so a little housekeeping <laughs> first. First, the nemesis of every principal, smartphones. Please take a moment to ensure that your phones are silent. Please no flash photography during today's uh, ceremony. Lastly, if you need to leave the auditorium, Please don't use these doors up front, that's distracting. If you want fresh air, go out that back door. If you want the lobby or the restroom, go out that back door, please. Thank you for being here. I know it wasn't easy. You had to brave the rain. The recent snow disrupted all of our schedules. And we're in the midst of a newly declared national emergency. But the indomitable will and spirit of the people of East Jefferson County is undaunted by these forces because so deep is our appreciation for our roadie tradition. There are many ways to pass this Saturday afternoon, but few finer than this. I am a relative newcomer to the community and confess that I did not know all that went into roadie. Um, I'm beginning to learn. You're in for a treat. Remarkable display of the magnificent talents of some remarkable young people. Brought to you, uh, supported by um, uh, equally extraordinary parents. And brought to you by a large and gifted cast of selfless volunteers. It is now my pleasure to introduce chief among those selfless volunteers the 2019 Coronation Director, Juanita Naples.
You can't believe it has already been a year since your coronation and we were off to Rodeland. The year began with our first fundraiser at Paint Sip and Four, where we raised over $500 for the sale. Great season started at the Tacoma Hall of Daffodil Parade, where we experienced every sort of weather possible from sun, rain, hail, cold, and the sun. You endured it with smiles on your faces. We then got to go to Wenatchee, where the sun was shining, and you got to experience your first of many dance parties with the other visiting royals. Swim was our next stop, where you worked with Mom Lori to perfect the float dance and won the highest award grand in the parade. We definitely rolled in the roadie with the style. Your handprints were permanently set in stone. You were special guests on Toss Salad, the radio show on KPTV. You were blessed with amazing weather for your week. Craig races, pet parade, kitties parade, hair and beer contest, bed races, grand parade, and the morning run. You both shone like the stars you are. It is always a long week with smiles and never left to faces. We were then off to experience the Portland of Starlight Parade. What a hot parade that was. And who could forget doing down that steady? Our next stop was one of our favorites, Marysville Strawberry Festival, where your princess, Diana, took second place in the world to Strawberry Shortcake Eating Contest. <laughs> it was then time to crown a new queen. The two of you took the bumps and some roads quite well, and you gracefully accepted the challenges in front of you. Next on the parade circuit was Cora Jordan and dancing in the streets with all the royals. And of course, you truly enjoyed taking your picture with the big owners. One of the longest days of the year was Seafair Torchlight Parade. You had the honor of being invited and attending a special luncheon with the Seafair Royals and dignitaries. And who could forget Mama Brandy's infamous selfie scavenger hunt around Seattle Center? You were true rock stars. Our last parade was Leavenworth, where we got to spend time with two of you being tourists around Leavenworth and making memories. And who can forget the awesome old time photos? You represented our community at many local events, including Old School Fourth of July, Port Townsend Film Festival, Wooden Boat Festival, Kinetic Sculpture Race, Girls Night Out, and many more. Queen Desiree and Princess Diana, you have overcome some very unique obstacles this year and took them on like true royals. We could not have asked for better representatives for the Jefferson County Road and Festival. We love you both. We know that the memories that you have made this year will last a lifetime and that two of you have left imprints on our hearts forever. Love Mama Randy and Mama Lori. It's now time to introduce our candidates for 2019. Here to welcome them to the stage are candidate coordinators Brandy Gammon and Lori Morris. Unpredictable man 
after having finished dinner with your friends at a local restaurant. While most adults would have frozen in fear, you fearing for friend's safety stepped forward and confronted the threat head on. Luckily for you, this was not what they were expecting and they were attempting to figure out what to do next. You were able to move quickly away to safely. Your unwavering strength and loyalty is something that I am very proud of. You have shown great commitment to this organization and the community. It makes me so proud to see how much energy and strength you are willing to, to give to this. I love you very much. Dear Kaylee Bud, it seems like just yesterday I was riding in the back seat with you on our way home from the hospital. And here I sit over 16 years later reflecting back on you and your accomplishments and how proud I am of the young lady you have become. From the beginning, you've always done things your way. You amazed Grandma, Papa, and I when you created your own form of sign language when you were struggling to learn the skills to talk. But it worked. We all knew what you were trying to say or needed. You sit back, take things in, and you're ready. When you're ready, you take it on and succeed. I love how you look for the good in everything, how you always find a way to compliment each person you come in contact with, whether you know them or not. If only more people in the world saw it as you did, it would be a much happier place. You have taken me on an incredible journey, and you've taught me that there is nothing you can't do. You continue to amaze me each and every day. I am so proud of you for trying new things, taking on challenges, and not giving up. I will always be your biggest cheerleader and supporter and help you as best I can every step of the way. I love you to the moon and back, infinity times infinity. Love, Mom. <laughs> Dear Ilian, I am proud to be able to write this letter to you about you. You have grown into a, such a beautiful young lady, and we want you to know just how special you are to us. You have truly been blessed our lives with your sunny personality. You have the ability to take in any types of hard knocks and rework it into positive endeavors. We so appreciate your balanced way of looking at things from your 18 year old eyes. You have a sense of an intuition about people's emotions and thoughts and seldom you condemn anyone or speak of them in a negative manner. We hope you continue to cultivate this. You are a trooper. You try to be the best of your abilities to mediate the situation so you never come across as selfish. And at the same time, you have found a balance so you feel your needs and desires are met. You are reliable and honest and willing to deal with the fallout than tell a lie. Always remember that we will be here for you. You can come to us for any reason, no matter what, and we can figure things out together. Thank you for coming into our lives and filling us with pride all your accomplishments. You are an excellent student who enjoys school and strives to always do the best you can. Your participation in volleyball and skiing are a Red Hawk mentor, a member of the Interact Club, and the American Sign Language Club. You also do charitable work with your church youth groups, such as preparing and distributing food for the homeless, shelter, and seniors. People often comment how helpful you are. You always remember to ask how you, they are doing, and you are willing to assist when needed. Generally, you are a very hard worker, completing the task to the best of your ability. This is a strong attribute as you are not always enamored by the chore. Nothing will ever stop us from loving you. Always remember that. You are such a great kid. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present your 2019 Rhododendron Festival candidates.
The festival would not be complete without our junior royalty. First graders from Port Townsend, Chimicum, Wilson, and Brennan, public, private, and home schools, were invited to answer three questions which make up the junior royalty application. Prince Grayson Cade is the seven-year-old son of Ashley and Sean. He has one older brother, Carson, and three younger brothers, Ben, Weston, and Owen. Grayson attends Salish Coast Elementary School in Port Townsend. His hobbies include riding motorcycles with his dad. His favorite food is cheesy pepperoni pizza. He's never been to a roadie festival, so he's excited to be part of this one and to share the experience with his brothers. Grayson likes to do the floss dance. His hero is Mom, because she always makes him feel better when he's hurt or sad. When Grayson grows up, he wants to be a Seahawk. <laughs> Princess Zoe Peterson is the six-year-old daughter of Rosie and Marcus. She has one brother, Sebastian, and attends Salish Coast Elementary School in Fort Townsend. Her hobbies include swimming, Girl Scouts, choir, music, art, and basketball. Her favorite food is chicken pho. She has a cat named Peso and a rabbit named Oreo. Zoe's family is no stranger to roadie royalty. Her Aunt Melissa was a princess in 1998, and Aunt Alicia was a princess in 2005. Zoe's favorite part of roadie week is passing out water at the roadie run. Zoe likes to scare and prank people. Her hero is Hope because she was junior royalty. And when Zoe grows up, she wants to be a vet or a teacher. Prince Landon Eldridge is the six-year-old son of Bob and Carol Eldridge and Mike and Sandy Eldridge. He attends Chimicum Creek Primary School. He has three brothers, Tyson, Chance, and Toby, two sisters, JC and Riley, three dogs, Libby, Ruby, and Murphy, and a cat named Chubbs. <laughs> His hobbies include football, basketball, baseball, Minecraft, Legos, and Christmas. His favorite food is chicken nuggets. Landon's cousin Paige was junior royalty in 1998, and his favorite part of Roadie Week is the trike races. Landon loves fizzy bath bombs. His hero is Iron Man because he shoots lasers. <laughs> and when Landon grows up, he wants to be a race car driver and a YouTuber. Princess Royce Bradshaw is the six-year-old daughter of Adam and Danielle and has three brothers, Banker, Anders, and Stone. She attends Chimicum Creek Primary School and enjoys swimming, hanging out with her brothers, drawing, and coloring. She has a fish named McLovin, and her favorite food is fruit snacks. Her favorite part of Roadie Week is the parades and the flowers. Royce likes to act really silly and make people laugh. Her hero is her mom and dad because they take care of her and love her so much. And when Royce grows up, she wants to be a teacher. Chris Jamie Thompson is the six-year-old son of Stephanie and Michael. He has one older brother, Sam, a dog named Diesel, a cat named Rosie, and two goats, Barry and Bramble. Jamie attends school at Chemical Creek Primary and enjoys playing the guitar. In the 1950s, Jamie's grandma Colleen was junior royalty, and in 1981, his dad Michael was junior royalty, making Jamie third-generation junior royalty and his cousin Jenny Delaney was Festival Princess in 1997. His favorite food is corn dogs, and Jamie likes to sing everywhere, even in his sleep. His favorite part of Roadie Week is the carnival. His hero is his brother Sam because he helps him. And when Jamie grows up, he wants to be a dad and an engineer with his brother. Princess Gwen Matthews is the seven-year-old daughter of Carl and John. She has one sister, Grace, one brother, Luke, an English yellow lab named Dozer, and two cats, Chloe and Buzzy. She attends Jim Crick Primary and enjoys dance, building Legos, drawing, reading, and playing with her friends. Her favorite food is pizza. Gwen likes to tell jokes and make people laugh. Her cousin, Skyanna, is the 2018 Roadie Festival Princess. Her favorite part of Roadie Week is walking in the kiddies' parade and watching the drag races. 
she has many heroes. Her mom, because she helps teach. Her dad, because he works hard. And her teacher, because she's amazing. And when Gwen grows up, she wants to be a teacher. Prince Canyon Joseph is the seven-year-old son of Katie Menahan and Colin Joseph. He attends Jim from Kirk Primary and has an older brother, Ryder, and two sisters, Nova and Leela. He enjoys swimming, photography, tree climbing, riding bikes, and video games. His favorite food is hamburgers. They have layers. <laughs> Canyon's mom, Katie, was roadie royalty in 2007, and his favorite part of roadie week is dressing up for the pack parade. Canyon likes to get friends at school by telling jokes and being funny. His hero is his mom, because she always stands up for him. And when Canyon grows up, he wants to be a teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Junior Royalty. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, prepared speeches. Each candidate will be giving a prepared speech on a specific topic from two and a half to three minutes in length. This year's topic is, with our theme being the greatest roadie, and circus animals being a key part of our theme, how do you feel about animals caged in the circus or zoos. Anticipation is building. The candidates have written inside the speeches, rehearsed their delivery. First up is Mary Neville. Months, probably even longer, just to reset this. 
And once it resets, how do you teach the creature how to fend for itself? Animals in the wild don't have doctors. They have immune systems that build up immunities to certain dangers over time. Animals in captivity don't build up these immunities. They get shots and medicine. When they fall down, they get treated immediately. Animals in the wild will lick their wounds, and after time, their skin goes thicker. If a zoo animal is released and exposed to these dangers, there won't be a doctor waiting behind a wall to help them. I've always been interested in the rehabilitation of animals. I spent a lot of free time watching beautiful National Geographic films. They're gorgeous. Each of these documentaries explains a new way of how we are learning how to help these animals get back. But these are luxuries. In my opinion, the best way to view a beautiful red panda is in its natural habitat, not behind a wall of glass. So how do I feel? I feel that zoo animals and circus animals shouldn't be encaged in the first place. Thank you, Mary. Next, with her prepared speech, is Kaylee Krajewski. and I like to see all the different animals like tigers, penguins, foxes, monkeys, and, uh, and elephants. If I do not have zoos, I would not be able to see all the animals in one place. My thoughts about animals in cages that it is okay as long as the cages are big, very big, so the animals have enough room to, to live happily. The cages also need to be like the animals' homes and nature. I do not like to see animals in small cages with just cement. It is also very important that zookeepers feed the animals and take care of it so they are healthy. One positive thing about zoos is the animals are rare in nature. Zoos are able to keep them have babies and more of rare animals. So I, so I think zoos are good as long as the animals are healthy and happy. And finally, our third candidate with her prepared speech, Elian Thornton. Get treated poorly by the people. 
people that train them. I bet when the animals get abused while they are getting trained, they feel mentally and physically abused. I feel there should be more regulations and restrictions on what zookeepers and people that train animals in the circus, since there is no one watching the circus that will do anything about the training or cruelty. And a result of that is in 1990, there have been 126 captive big cats and 23 humans have died in the U.S. More than 255 humans have been injured. I hope one day they can make a law that keeps all zoo animals and circus animals safe and not get treated poorly. Thank you, Elliot. The Rhododendron Festival is proud to continue its tradition of Queen's Court. Seventh, eighth, and ninth graders from Fort Townsend, Chimicum, Brennan, and Quilsey, public, private, and home schools, were invited to write an essay to submit with their application. This year, we have two Queen's Court representatives. It is now my honor to introduce you to our 2019 Queen's Court Royals. sister, Ashley, Paige is a 7th grader at Chimico Middle School. Her hobbies and interests include science, drawing, art, painting, and riding horses. She has one dog, a white boxer named Miley, and two corn snakes. No stranger to Rody, she was crowned junior royalty as a first grader in 2013, and is looking forward to being part of the Rhodey Festival as royalty again in a few years. When Paige grows up, she looks forward to working at an animal shelter. Welcome to the stage, Paige. Our next Queen's Court Royal is 12-year-old Addison Asbell, escorted by her father, Corey Asbell. Her proud parents are Christy and Corey Asbell. She has one older sister, Aaron. Addison is a seventh grader at Blue Heron Middle School in Port Townsend. Her hobbies and interests include friends, family, playing basketball, soccer, and softball, running cross country, babysitting, singing, dancing, music, science, and math. Addison's sister, Aaron, was junior royalty in 2011. She's most excited about the trike races because she's participated every year and always winds up on the podium. When she grows up, she wants to be a science teacher or an astrophysicist. I challenged them to a minimum of 
and gave them extra incentive to interns that was over $600. Sponsor funds go towards clothing, travel, and food expenses for Queen's Court members throughout the next year. I'm excited to tell you that between these two young ladies, they raised over $1,900 in sponsors. And now we get to hear Paige Govia's speech. My name is Paige Govia and I'm 13 years old. I go to Shiva Kamo School. I'm in seventh grade. What World Attention Festival means to me is that I get to have both my family and friends. I really feel like the summer because it's normally hot around that time of year. The thing that I mostly like about it is the floats. My favorite part of Brody is spending time with my family and friends. Personally, I think the pretty Brody floats are my favorite. My interest includes school, science, and science is my favorite class. My goals are to work with animals because I want to help them find homes. My hobbies are art and stuff like drawing and painting. I love to snuggle my dog named Miley. Also, and also I ride horses. Every weekend I get to help take care of my grandparents' horses named Bailey and Phoenix. What makes me unique is I love to be with my family, spend time with my sister and grandparents. I like to spend ready with my family and go to my grandparents' house for a barbecue. The tradition is meeting at my grandparents' house and getting into a blue minivan to go to the Grand Parade. When we get to town, we buy the parking spot by the fire station on Lord Street and sit right on the corner um, to watch everything. At the barbecue, we get to blow the fire and eat hot dogs. With my friends, I get to the parade and hang out. Know. Now this is Asbel. Queen's Court, Paige Govia. And now we can hear from Addison. Hi, I'm Addison Asbell, and I'm the 2019 Rhododendron Festival Queen's Court. I am a seventh grade student at Blue Heron Middle School. The festival has always been important to me. Rhody Week activities are a tradition in my house. My sister, my grandparents, and I always watch the pet parade in front of the rec center every year. During the grand parade, my family always sits on the hill to the First Baptist Church with our friends. In the last few years, we've watched my sister and my cousin Noelle, that goes to White River High School, in the grand parade. We walk down to Chetsamoka Park after. It's a day of hanging out with family and friends. Furthermore, I love how the whole town comes together around Rhodey Week. Finally, I've lived in Port Townsend all of my life, and I have been in a roadie parade every year it's been an opportunity. The roadie run is one of my personal favorites, things about roadie week. My first time running the roadie run was in fourth grade, and I've ran it ever since. Those are some reasons why I love roadie week. I have a lot of things that interest me. I really like school, and my favorite subjects are math, science, and STEAM. Also, I really enjoy robotics. I was on the robotics team in fifth grade through the library. Finally, I love to volunteer. I volunteer at the com in the community with the Wooden Boat Festival and every Sunday I help with childcare at my church. I'm a pretty active kid. Some of my hobbies are sports like softball, cross country, soccer, and basketball. But others are on wheels like biking, skateboarding, and rollerblading. 
I also do mock trial, and in the summer, during my free time, I like to go swimming at the beach. I like to sing and dance, too. I was in Stars of Tomorrow two times, both with original songs. Although, my favorite thing to do is hang out with my family and friends. We'll play board games, spend time making things in the kitchen, make creative worlds out of Legos, and play make-believe. Everyone is their own person. Everyone is unique or different in their own way. What makes me unique is I'm funny. I don't care what other people think of me. I'm very outgoing. I like, I will approach anyone with a smile. And of course, my freckles. I like to think of myself as a funny, creative, energetic person. I crack jokes all the time, but I also know when to be serious. I have a good imagination and enjoy inventing and creating things out of recycling supplies. I am also an ASB Spirit Coordinator at my school. This means I get to encourage others and it's my job to make other people happy. Furthermore, I don't judge books by their covers. I take my time to get to know someone and then find the positive in them. Finally, I dance or just have childish fun anywhere. I like to start dancing in the aisles of a supermarket because it's fun and I don't care what other people say. I'm going to hold on to childhood while I have it. That's what makes me Addison Hustle. A lot of people have goals for their future, like social goals, financial goals, and or others can be academic. I have a lot of goals for myself too, like I want to get straight A's. I always work hard for each of my goals. I'm persistent. To wrap this up, I'm a funny, friendly, unique, active, and goal-oriented person. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present your Rhododendron Festival Queen's Court for 2019. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce past Rhodey Fest royalty who are with us tonight. 2017 Junior Royalty Levi LaFala. Please stand. <laughs> 2013 Junior Royalty, Rhapsody Thetford. <laughs> 2018 Queen's Court, Lizzie Krajewski. 2017 Queen's Court, Kaylee Krajewski, she's backstage. <laughs> 2008 Junior Queen's Court and High School Princess Katie Minahan. <laughs> 2010 Queen, Ashley Nolette. 2012 Senior Royalty, Lauren and Jerry Robeson. 2015-16 Queens Court, Janessa Seabergus. 2016-17 Queen, Lauren Montgomery. 1990 Princess Juanita Austin Maples. 1987 Princess Christy Cumming Spencer. 1979 Miss Chimicum, Tina Gruel. Now, each of our roadie candidates will now perform a creative display of their own choosing.
our first creative display performance will be candidate Mary Neville singing Rise by Katy Perry, a strong and beautiful piece that can silence lions. Please put your hands together and help us welcome Mary to the stage.
Thank you, Kaylee. Our next, Ellie and Thornton, will we demonstrate American Sign Language to the Star Spangled Banner by Elizar del Rosario. This song is special to our candidate because she was adopted by her wonderful family at the age of three and feels blessed to have the opportunity to live in a free country like ours. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Elian. question portion of tonight's program, it is my pleasure to reintroduce your 2018 Port Townsend Senior Association Royalty, Paula and Clayton Mike McDonald, and 2018 Tri-Area Senior Royalty, Peter Hubbard and Sylvia Bryson. They have reigned as Senior Royalty for one year and will now crown the 2019 Port Townsend Senior Association Royalty and 2019 Tri-Area Senior Royalty. back there, I promise I've seen it. So, while we're waiting, great day to be a cowboy from high school. We, we do tolerate the presence of Fort Townsend in our midst. Uh, even the full scene too. Uh, uh, we have Fort Townsend and Chimica wrestlers competing uh, in the state tournament today. And the Chimica girls are, are playing today also in the state basketball tournament. We believe they, uh, they may be the first uh, girls team in school history to have won uh, the league championship, so we're really, really pleased with them.
Though I understand both Fort Towns and basketball teams also made the playoffs this year, so good, good on them too. Yeah. All right. Um, and now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Our 2018 Fort Towns and Senior Association Royalty, Paula and Clayton Mike McDonald, and 2018 Tri-Area Senior Royalty, Peter Hubbard and Sylvia Bryson. They join us today to crown our 2019 Port Townsend Senior Association Royalty and 2019 Tri-Area Senior Royalty. Now, the, uh, our 2019 Senior Royalty from Port Townsend Senior Association are King Kurt Rust and Queen Betty Gruel. Queen Betty describes herself as a plain old hometown gal. She was born at the Fort Warden Hospital in 1939 when her father was in the Army. She grew up in Fort Townsend with her five brothers. Betty married her high school sweetheart, Larry Gruel, in 1957. They raised three children in Fort Townsend. They did lots of mom and dad volunteering as the children were growing up. Betty and her husband were camp hosts at Fort Warden State Park and Old Fort Townsend State Park from 1995 to 2008, receiving the Washington State Camp Host of the Year Award in 1999. <laughs> Queen Betty has worked for Fort Townsend Jefferson County Leader since 1968. She volunteers at the Jefferson County Auditor's Office during elections and Fort Townsend Community Center. She sits on the board of directors for the Port Townsend Senior Association and the Port Townsend Alumni Association. Betty is truly honored to receive this acknowledgement and she's looking forward to representing Jefferson County as one of the 2019 Senior Queens. <laughs> King Kurt Rust was born in 1925 at home on a farm in Chimicum and attended Chimicum schools. At age 17, he joined the Navy. He was stationed in Pearl Harbor, the Mariana Islands, on the USS Bunker Hill, and served in the Korean War. After discharging from the military, he came back home and settled in Port Townsend, where he raised a family. He worked at Crown Zellerback for 40 years, retiring in 1982, then started his second career as an electrical foreman. He spent over 30 years with his very special friend, Lorraine Foley. Together they enjoyed traveling, Kurt currently volunteers many hours a week at the Port Townsend Senior Center. Our 2019 Tri-Area Senior Royalty are King Roger Horner and Queen Letha Smith. King Roger and his late wife, Catherine, come from California. The Horners purchased a small farm so his children could have animals and looked for a community within a church. Roger worked for the Pasadena Fire Department for 25 years and as a newspaper pressman. Roger volunteers at Irondale Community Church, Irondale Community Soup on Tuesdays, the Tri-Area Food Bank, a driver for Echo, and has driven veterans to medical appointments at the VA. Roger continues his life of service every day in the Tri area. He enjoys volunteering, saying, just do what I can to help people. <laughs> many children have called Queen Letha mom. Not only her own children, but their many friends and the children she works with even today. Letha was raised on a farm and is a lifetime member of Girl Scouts, where she earned the prestigious Curved Bar. After being a hairdresser for 40 years, Letha now works part-time as a visitation supervisor for foster children. She loves to volunteer, especially with children, as they give Letha her granny fix. Letha is always volunteering with the food bank, where she's volunteered every week since 1993. Queen Letha.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present your Port Townsend Senior Association Royalty for 2019, King Kurt Russ and Queen Betty Trumel. And your Port Area Senior Royalty, King Roger Horner and Queen Lisa Smith. Next up, impromptu questions. Each candidate will choose an impromptu question from the display. The candidate will read the question silently to self, <laughs> then bring the question to me to read aloud. Each candidate will answer the question at the mic to the best of their ability. Then have opportunity to deliver a brief personal message to family and friends. Please help me welcome back to the stage your 2019 royalty candidates, Mary, Kaylee, and Elliot. Welcome to our 2018 royalty for their farewell speeches and 
slideshow. Queen Desiree and Princess Skyanna. Sure, we have the flow at the right place. 
Shauna Kay for always being there to give the best advice, and Mama Brandy for always making sure my tears were wet from my eyes when needed, for always believing in me. Okay, and always being there at the right time with the crazy selfies and the greatest memories. You made sure I always looked, smelled, and smiled the greatest. <laughs> and last but not least, Diana, I am so thankful to have you as not only my fellow princess. <laughs> <laughs> Now it is my honor to introduce our roadie board president, Brandy Hammond. Oh my gosh. Desi made me cry right before I had to come out here. The two, um, oh my goodness, this is fine. I'm so sorry. Too far, okay. I am going to introduce our board members and volunteers. So if you are a current Rhododendron Festival board member and you're in the audience, please stand. If you are backstage and you're a board member, please come to the stage. I did. Okay, so we have, I'm Brandy, the, the president, Vice President Lori Morris. Secretary Tara Whitener, Treasurer Marilee Ridgway, we have Michael Ridgway who is our lighting extraordinaire for our float among other things, Liz Morris is our float director, Debbie Luff, what Luff, Debbie, <laughs> because I always fail her last name, she's our Grand Prix Chair this year. We have Nicole Locke is our fundraising chair. Monique Mainfalls is coordination chair. I'm trying to see a Madonna. I'm not gonna say her last name because I wanna. Um, she is a member at large and is willing to do anything when asked. Ann Waters is not standing up, but she is a board member <laughs> and a former queen. Melissa Mele, way back there, wave. She does anything we ask her to do. Lisa Jensen is our photographer extraordinaire. And marketing and IT and anything I ask her to do at four in the morning. No joke. We have Rebecca Krajewski is our Queen's Court and Juniors coordinator. We have Mike Amen back in the sound booth. Member Scott Widener and he is running Spotlight. Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Oh, Pauline, where are you? <laughs> so Pauline and Eric, I'm not sure where they are, members at large. Christy Spencer's, she thinks she's not a board member, but she really is. <laughs> she's doing curtains tonight. Not sure if I missed anybody, but. Hashtag what? Hashtag hang on. That's right. <laughs> Christy will never leave. 
Um, so thank you so much to our board. Um, with, without you guys, we couldn't run the festival. We are all volunteers, so remember that. We are always looking for new volunteers as well. So contact any one of us. We have board meetings every month, and there's lots of planning that goes into everything. With the festival, it's year round. It is not just roadie week. Obviously, we have this event that takes three or four months to plan, and roadie week, and among a lot of other things. So. If you are interested in being one of us, talk to any of us. Is that it? That's it. Thank you guys. Okay. The 2019 Royalties First Fundraiser is an escape room presented by Puzzle Break out of Seattle. Puzzle Break is America's first ever escape room company. The event will be held April 13th, 2019. Doors open at 4.30 and the event starts at 5 p.m. This event will be held at Jefferson County Fairgrounds at the Oscar Erickson Building. Tickets go on sale very soon, like this next week. Tickets will be $75 per person, which includes one drink, and light appetizers. Alcohol will be available for purchase. It is recommended ages 16 and up. If, if anyone that wants to come is under the age of 18 though, they do have to have parents' permission sign. No tickets will be sold at the door. For more information, just watch our roadie Facebook page or contact a board member. And now, we are going to introduce the judges. Our judges have taken time out of their busy schedule to not only judge tonight's coronation, but also last weekend as they spent some one-on-one -on -one time with each of our candidates at our annual judges interview team. A very special thank you to each of you for volunteering your time with the Rhododendron Festival. Our first judge being introduced tonight is Brian Bockeller. Was born in Port Townsend and graduated from Port Townsend High School. Brian is an award-winning singer, songwriter, he has a song in the independent movie, Dead in Five Heartbeats. He is voted the best live performer for Jefferson County for 2016 and 2018. Has toured much of Europe, Canada, and the U.S. playing music. His music can be heard in our area at Seven Cedars Casino, the Squim Grange Dinner Dances, or many of the annual fairs and festivals. Norma Van Valkenberg was born and raised in Fort Townsend. She was our 1962 Rhododendron Festival Princess. Norma graduated from Fort Townsend High School in 1963. She has supported adolescents and their families as a family therapist for over 30 years, coming home to Fort Townsend two years ago. She enjoys giving back to her home community by volunteering. Steve Bozak was part of the Rhododendron Festival from 1989 to 2009. Festival president in 1997. He was the festival float builder for over 18 years, turning the job over to a new competent crew in 2007. Steve is a longtime Kiwanian and an active volunteer in the community. Thank you, Steve. Diana Ellis is a third generation Port Townsend re resident and graduate of Port Townsend High School. She worked at the Chimicum Schools for 25 years in special services and as an administrative assistant. Diana retired at the end of June 2018 and enjoys travel, hobbies, and spending time with family and friends. Thank you, Diana. Inspector Josh Lay has worked at the Clallam County Sheriff's Office for 19 years. Born and raised in Port Angeles, this is the second year he's helped at the Rhododendron Festival Coronation. Thank you, Josh. Our judging criteria is as follows. The speaking engagement, that they had before coronation, they had several weeks where they did speaking engagements in the community that comprised 30% of tonight's overall score. <laughs> Judges' interviews, last week, two weeks ago actually at this point, um, comprised 30%.
The Royalty Training Committee contributed 15%, and the Coronation Program tonight, including introduction, prepared speech, creative display, and impromptu question, is the final 25% of the overall score. Ladies and gentlemen, we now welcome the candidates back to the stage, now in formal attire. We have some special awards before we go any further. Please help me welcome candidate coordinator Lori Morris to the stage. Congenial Congeni award is donated by Lisa's jury and it goes to, ladies and gentlemen, on stage we have three wonderfully congenial candidates. We'll just use this mic. The Miss Congeniality Award is the only award voted on by the candidates themselves. The Miss Congeniality Award reflects the respect and admiration of the candidates who voted for her as the most congenial, charismatic, and inspirational participant. Our Miss Congeniality Award goes for 2019 goes to Mary. The award goes to Kaylee Krajewski. The ballots have been tabulated, and I believe our judge's runner this evening is carrying the results. May I have the envelope, please? <laughs> Before I announce your royal report for 2019, I'd like to invite everyone to a royalty reception following this evening's program at the Chimica Middle School Commons, right through that door, and down the corridor. On behalf of the Rhododendron Festival, we'd like once again to thank First Federal, Mount Townsend Creamery, Peninsula Floors and Furnishings for sponsoring tonight's program, 
Lisa's jewelry for her generous donation of jewelry for our special awards, Holly's fine flowers and petals florist for discounting all the flowers this evening, Memrisa Castle for hosting the judges interviews, and thank you to all of you for your continued support of the festival. Before we begin crowning, we want everyone to know that princesses will be crowned in no particular order. Our princesses will be equal. There is no designation as first or second princess. Music, please. You guys have some music on tap up there? <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Princess Elian Thornton. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Princess Kaylee Krajewski. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming your queen of the 84th Rhododendron Festival, Queen Mary Neville. <laughs> Distinct honor of presenting your 2019 Rhododendron Festival Royalty Court. Congratulations!
official beginning of the 2019 Rhododendron Festival season. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming tonight. Please proceed to the Chimicum Middle School Commons for refreshments. Your royalty will be to the reception right after meeting with the newspaper. Your 2019 royalty are excited to see you. We'll be opening the doors at the front left of the auditorium momentarily. Woohoo! 